want some portion cookie with some pork fried rice on side, yeah? Ling Ling, you passed by Christy Nelly, no stay high me. Oh man, you kidding me? I hit my freaking DSL line. Happy Friday, peeps. Yeah, I'm back at it again. It's sunny, it's hot. So I put the sheet over it and it, it just makes a huge difference because its glass doesn't get hot because the glass is black. I just kind of tucked it in there. It's I can pull it right down real quick. Hopefully it stays up with the wind. But that makes a huge difference. It looks like crap, but it makes a difference. What do you haul blanket over the car? That was from like two years ago. All right, so I'm back in the shop and now we're gonna do some wiring. We have to do some thicker wire. Go with six gauge copper wire because it's 200 amp service for the ground. So we're gonna put the ground, double ground rod in. Oh, just like butter, it literally took me seconds to get through that. Concrete bit, anyone? Concrete bit, bit anyone? Yeah, this is the bit you sent me. It's concrete. It's a killer bit. I needed it. There's my new rod going right here. And there's a new ground rod right here. I figured I can bang it in at a tiny bit of an angle in case I hit a rock. It'll, that's a, kind of a trick. I'm digging the ground and guess what happened? Oh man, you kidding me? I hit my freaking DSL line. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting it here, coming into the box and terminating it because I have enough slack so I don't have to put, because I'm going to bring it through the ground, it'd be a lot better. So cutting the DSL line turned into a blessing because it's not a big deal. It's going to be actually faster when I'm finished because I've done it a million times. I've terminated to these boxes a million times so I know what I'm doing. I can't believe I cut it because the wire kind of went around and it was, I didn't think it was, the wire was right there, but it's all right. I know where the power wire is because the power guy that put the power wire in is right behind me. He told me, he came over and officially told me where it was. I'm not going to get the guy to flag it just for that. Oh, he's going to kill his mower. I got to bring his deck up a little bit. I want this done right. I want this door done right. I don't want to say, oh, you're going to hit it. Wow. What a good job done. Oh man, this hurts. This physically hurts. Hey! What the heck happened? I thought, I thought someone else was cutting my lawn. I got confused. I just helped Freddy bring some wires through a little hole. And he came in to have some lunch, which is chachos. Chachos! Under the, under the, riva, riva! Wait, I can do that better. Run today, run today, riba, riba! Thank goodness to our neighbors for the lawn mowing because it is hot. When I say hot, I mean hot. It does look better, huh? It looks much better. Now sit and lay down. Lay down. No, don't talk back. Sit down. Lay down. 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 Stay. No, down. Right, Judy. Hey, look at them. Okay guys, I figured it out. With a YouTube friend, help me with the, uh, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, help me with this, and I called them an electrician. Because they can get the parts a little bit cheaper, and if I'm back and forth to Lowe's, it's just not costing me money at this point. What they're gonna do, is they're gonna run a 100 amp wire, bury it in conduit, put it over here, put a 100 amp breaker in here. Take all this mess right here, and put it over here, right here, way away from the water. Here, then we're gonna have all the breakers there. Then he's gonna punch through the wall and put me a 220 in. He's gonna put me a 220 in so I can run an air compressor. So, that's about it. And you gotta change a couple things on the box. And here, he said I did everything properly, it's just not finished. He's gonna run a 100 amp, and then he's gonna run a 100 amp wire from the breaker. He's gonna put a 100 amp breaker in. He's gonna come up up here, about 45, or 30, about 50 feet down and put another junction box on that side for the RV. This, all this will serve is a meter and a breaker. A big 200 amp and a, and a, and a 100 amp breaker. So it's just gonna be a meter and a breaker. That's all that thing's gonna serve. 
So everything will be buried and finished. I did this today for them. I did all the ground. I put my DSL line through here. Took the box part and rewired it and it's like brand new. Okay. Seeing I did all the electrical in there, I, I probably saved about $3,000, maybe $2,000 I saved. So by doing it, and plus I did it right the way I wanted it. So um, yeah. So I'm probably gonna have, I might punch a hole through this wall right here and put another 110 over here or another 50 amp over here. So, you know, wherever you put your truck RV, I can plug the truck in 30 amp if I want to. I, can, I mean, um, and then when we're finished with the house, I'm gonna put the tie right to the house on this side of the house. And then we're gonna get, get rid of this pole and put my meter, which I already paid for on the house, the 200 amp. So we'll have 200 and then 100 amp, but I really wanna make this a 200 amp later on. Um, I don't need the 200 amps right now, but we're gonna run 100 amp wire in there because we have to, because the temp is only 100 amp wire. It's 400 in the ground, 100 to the, into the meter. So there's nothing I can do about that. We have to run 100, but we're gonna run that 100 amp wire over here to the RV and all I need is 100 amp over there. I mean, the RV is 50 amps, so I'll have double what I need. So. Grass is growing good. I did this, I put about five, six wheelbar wheelbarrows full. I'm building this up because the foundation was kind of out. I'm building a little patio here thing for the box. I can store propane, uh, gasoline. Those are gonna be all stuccoed over in the back, so you're not gonna see that in paint. So, I just wanna finish this building completely, almost, not, not completely, but pretty close. So, when we do the house, I don't have two projects going at one time, you know? Ours are a little flat. Signing off for the day, I'm done. So Fred, call an electrician just to get the, the the rest of the grunt work done. This way I don't have to deal with it, I can move on and put some vape barrier on the side of the building and what do you think? I don't want to spend any more money, but honestly. It's how the camera. To have it done. And just over with. Well I figured we could do more videos for the peeps if we get this thing done and out of the way. I'm ready for it to be done. I'm ready for all these projects to stop so that we can go back to life and start doing videos and start doing some fun stuff. Yeah, we don't do anything fun for the last six, uh, four months. Nothing. No, the last two years, we really haven't done very much fun. Yeah, no, we've been looking for land. Hey, what do you think you are? Do you think you're a, uh, one of those people that does nails at the mall with your special nail machine? Ling Ling, you passed by crazy nail. You know, say hi to me. You know, if you would have done that and I was had this on my nail, that'd have been a problem. Say it one more time, it would be a good entrance video. Ling Ling, you pass by crazy nail, you know, say hi me. <laughs> I want some fortune cookie with some pork fried rice on side, yeah? Ling Ling, you pass by crazy nail, you know, say hi me. You can get a suntan from this stuff. Say so, goodnight, peeps. I hope you guys enjoyed our crazy fun day. Like us and share us. You know you find it's funny. No, not like us and share us. I hope you guys enjoyed our crazy fun day and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy tomorrow. It's gonna be lots of fun. Good night. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.